What you acquire in life, you acquire in life for eternity. And I've talked about how in heaven it works in cycles of centuries repeating. Each century repeats, and as when new century adds on, that starts repeating at the end of the century, it repeats. And so you live in the structure of a century or two centuries or sometimes three centuries for some people that you're part of. So that's the way it works. And that's what you live through in your living years. That's how you live eternity in heaven. Okay. The possessions you buy, you get copies of for heavenly. They're eternal. They're eternal things. Now, when you sell a concert ticket online, which you've gone and seen or owned and had rights with, you sell the rights of a share to that ticket. You don't lose your rights because you used that ticket. It was owned and you enjoy the rights of that ticket. But you've sold a share of the rights to that ticket to someone else. You've sold your rights. And the rights share works equitably. If the person who buys a ticket which you sell online owns that ticket for a while and joins that in their collection and it dies with them, then two people own the rights of that ticket. Two people own the rights to that concert because you sold your ticket. If a ticket lives on and gives, goes to a third person in the generation of life which the movie has seen, they give the rights to that movie as well. For generations of life beyond the scope of the years in a new century, not 100% sure they'll necessarily get the rights, those, those people later on, but they might. They might have rights to go back and see it. So depending on how long the life of a ticket lasts, yes, people, you're selling your rights to that ticket to other people. You have to share it. If you don't want to share the rights of your ticket, destroy your ticket 